Hello folks, just doing a bit of a bit of trimming here. These little some little bottle vases. Just Actually, they were going to be um, those little wall lights you saw me do, but got mixed up with the uh, weights and I made them too small. So we've, we're just converting them into into little bottle vases or bud vases. Or Incidentally, it's good to keep a Keep your weights and measurements in a book. It's the best thing. Then you don't have that happen. What I'm going to do with these a bit later on, I'm going to I'm going to dip them in a in an iron slip and and then do some bit of scraffito scratching. So it's useful to have a if you throw in biscuit a one like that, it can also go up the other way so the flange here is down on the base and then you can use the the under, the other end of it for like if you've got a bowl that you want to turn the foot on but you don't want the the edge of the bowl to actually go face down on the wheel head because it sometimes leaves a bit of a a mark on the lip Sometimes it's nice to have a bit more of a flea, free flowing lip on a pot, pot where it's not. Maybe just even a little uneven, you know, it's quite nice sometimes. So, I'm just having this like this, more or less on centre, that I can put a pot. And even if when I put the pot in there it isn't quite on centre, it doesn't matter because I kind of accommodate it in my in my style. Okay. And I can as you see I'm doing just rattle these off reasonably quickly. So folks, keep at it. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye now.